And doctors say this could be the worst week yet in the U.S. as nearly 10,000 people have died because of the coronavirus across the country. As Elise Preston reports, hospitals are still struggling to deal with more than 300,000 cases. Inside this Brooklyn hospital, 80% of the patients here are being treated for COVID-19, some requiring intubation the second they arrive. Doctors say this man in his early 50s had no underlying conditions and is requiring 100% oxygen to keep his lungs inflated. Old people, young people, people are dying from this. It, it is lethal. The hospital staff is not immune and in some cases not fully protected. We saw nurses wearing trash bags to protect their scrubs, use sanitizing wipes to clean themselves as they work, and a doctor wearing ski goggles. New York's governor says the state may be close to reaching its apex or may have already reached a plateau, but it is just the beginning for other states. Louisiana is expected to open a 1,000 bed makeshift hospital inside the New Orleans Convention Center a day after the state experienced its largest single day uptick in deaths. Texas officials are now stopping people coming in from Louisiana, asking for documentation on where they're going and if they're staying, they must self quarantine for 14 days. And in Largo, Maryland, the community is mourning 27 year old Leilani Jordan, a grocery store employee. Her mother took these photos of her daughter's hospital room before she passed away. When they got her, she had 104 fever. And they put her in isolation. And then she, said, she called me. She says, Mommy, I can barely breathe. Jordan's mother says instead of leaving work when the outbreak began, she only wanted to help people more. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York.